This is probably the one video every salesperson needs to watch. Now, I am a non-sales salesperson, I guess you could say. I mean, I sell stuff, but I'm not really a salesperson. And I actually learned a lot, and there was a lot of great advice, especially when it comes to what salespeople need to do around leads and how to generate leads. So watch this video because I'm not sure if a non-sales salesperson can get something out of it. What a real salesperson could actually get out of it. Uh, it's a great video with Colleen Francis. Nicolette and I talked to her and she explains a lot of things about sales. So pipeline. Let's let's talk about pipelines for a second since you brought that up. Yeah. How in most cases, you deal with a lot of different companies, a lot of different sales. How realistic do you think most people's pipelines are? Yeah, <laughs> some of them have different like levels of like, this is 80%. This is, you know, you, so how realistic do you think most of those things are? Uh, yeah, I think that most pipelines are filled with um, gunk and sludge. Uh, so Especially I'm not a- industry, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not a fan of- pipelines with that subjective measurement that says, you know, I think this is 80% likely to close or 20% likely to close. I like pipelines that maybe has those, that have those percentages assigned, but what we're looking at is the percentage complete in the process. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying that when you're in presentation mode, it's 50% likely to close. We're saying it's 50% complete. We still have 50% of our work to do and here's all the work. Mm -hmm. uh, and then based on historical averages, I look at an objective measure of a closing rate. Mm -hmm. um, so based on what you actually mark as closed one and closed lost, that becomes the number. Mm -hmm. Ironically, um, or maybe not so ironically, surprisingly, um, when you look at pipelines, uh, as I have done all over the world with a broad, broad variety of prod products, once a lead is fully qualified, and so you're into that quote and proposal, it's mm -hmm. almost always about 30% of those that close. Gotcha. I guess so, so if, I had, if I was coming in to just do a quick gut check of your pipeline, that's what I would do. I'd say, here, is that enough to make your number? And if not, then we would dissect what's going on. Right. So, so, when you're, so, so when you're saying like something's like 50% of the way there, you're telling Mount it's 50% of the way in. So those data points from the data science to someone buys, right? You're saying it's 50% yeah. of the way through those data points to get to the sale. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a lot. That's a lot better. That's a lot better way to measure it than most people are doing. It's 100. I mean, that's great. Yeah, it is, and it um, it takes the subjectivity out of it, um, and it makes it it gives you a much more objective view, right? So we can then take our our pipeline, which is you know end to end, and we can break it down into the forecast, which is what's likely to close, and we know why. And then we can also break that down into kind of a, you know, likely best worst case scenario based on the, based on some of the data points. So it provides people with a much more granular view on a 30 day or a quarterly basis. Nice. <laughs> I love the data. Oh. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. As, as soon as you started talking about data, I was like, ah, I, I, this is going to be good. <laughs>